Good evening, Central Indiana, and welcome to Porch Time, where Beth was almost late. How you doing, Beth? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Corey, Pam, we doing all right tonight? Mm -hmm. We're good. Before we get to the part of the show, let's go over some sponsors real quick, because without them, we'd just be just another pretty face on Facebook. American Basement Solutions, Larry Ralph Sr., one 409 Two eight three seven, Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Mesmer, seven six five three four one eight nine one one. Drink the Creek, Cedar Creek starts this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a fun show out it. there. I know. Yeah. I won't be there. I'll be not you. Bland right. Boys Lawn Care. They have done excellent work on my yard already this year. Seven six five three one five nine six five six. If your house has been overran by dandelions, contact Bland Boys. Findhelp.org, Judge Williams. He's going to come in here. He's going to come hang out with us, judges, because he mm -hmm. wants to. <clears throat> Talk to him the other <clears throat> night. We need to get a gavel in here. We do. We need a show so with, have... get him and Hanson in here and just let him argue point after point. Just, that would be a blast. Talk aliens and Bigfoot. And... <laughs> oh, uh, well, uh, it was, um, Matt is the alien guy and wasn't, um, oh, well, Deputy Prosecutor Bob Klein, um, wasn't he the Bigfoot yeah. guy? I think so. That would have been arguing with Bob's no fun though. All right, findhelp.org. That's Judge Williams Group. Wayman's Furniture Appliance Mattress, 765 342 4339. We got to get Mark in here too. He is amazing and uh, love having him as a sponsor. Wellsprings, Bob Goodrum. Did he survive the golf tournament? I'm sure. Did Bob survive the golf tournament? What do you mean? Well, yeah. I just seen him out there and it looked like he was struggling. Really? Hitting bad shot after bad shot. Oh, oh really? My fellow lefty. <laughs> I know. Just messing. You're just, just messing. Seven six five three four six sixty six sixty one. We love Bob, and he knows it. Stid's comfort system, where I've made it a comfortable around seventy degrees in here right now. Seven six five three four six zero one nine five zero one nine five. I'm telling you, if you, right over my shoulder, somewhere, if you look right there. Cheap. Guys, cheap. They work compared to. If you've got, yeah, yeah. AC, yeah. Heating unit, yeah. yeah, my heating bill is only like nine hundred dollars a month with that. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> it's not bad you at all. You ain't paying nothing per month on that. Well, maybe a little bit of electric. Electric, but, but it's not bad. Minimal. Yeah, and, that and it keeps keeps it good. nice in here. And of course, the victorious Peggy Mayfield, District sixty. Oh, that has to come off. The election's over. Election's off. Yeah, we'll take it. Watch time. Well, we were doing the calendar tonight. Yeah, so. we were a little busy. <laughs> District sixty, another term for Peggy. Congratulations, sir, and all the winners, and not just the winners, the individuals that run too. I, I've made that mistake and done it twice, and I vow to never do it again. Thank you. <laughs> we're zero two, Beth. By the way, so you know. <laughs> because it is hard work, and at the end of the day, even even for the primary, when you get there, you're dragging butt, and you wanted to get it over with. And then if you win, well, you get to do it again in November. So anyway, I think that's it. I still on the haven't sponsors. recovered. Good, good turnout. Tuesday night. It, was, it looked like a yeah, good turnout all over. And well, gather around I mean, was packed. The little party we had. Well, it was nice. packed, Kenneth. Huh. <laughs> He's on. Kenny's. He said, how come everyone in, in technical seems to have issues? Exactly, Kenny. All right. It is uh, Thursday. We're, we're flying through May. Today is Cinco de Mayo. You're only allowed one margarita. Hello, Jennifer. I had one for lunch. Did you? Yeah. Pam? Not, but I did go in my... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I had to bypass the margarita because I had to go back and wanted, right? wanted the jewelry to be good. <laughs> I, I've talked to about 10 people on my way home tonight. One of them was our buddy Jake. Um, oh, he, yes? was, he was at La, La Herdura. Is he coming back? I've he was already, here in town? He was coming through and he's on his way to Kenny Chesney. Oh. So, well, you got Kenny Chesney tonight. You've so got, Jake's going to watch Tim Newman's opening for Kenny Chesney. Tim is? Yeah. Yes, he told that. us oh, that that's to go right. About him. That's fantastic. Yeah. Up there. Yeah, yeah sure probably. It it's going to be wet. I sat through a Toby Keith concert for hours when the rain one time, and it was awesome. Uh, you got a comedy thing going on the Legion. You've got Kenny Chesney going on right now. Wasn't there something else you said? Michael W. Smith is up in Morrisville. Yeah, Michael W. C Smith. At like Mongolian or something? Or where? I think that's where it's at, yeah. Yeah. And all this, and it <clears> is <throat> also 
National Small Business Week, and that's why Pam is in here. Football is playing somewhere. At Jazz Kitchen, I looked. <laughs> uh, you know Journey's what? Journey's playing at Gainesburg. Who is? Journey and Toto. What? Man, it's going to be, but Journey? instead I'm here with you. Wait, no. <laughs> you did not <laughs> have to cancel them. I didn't actually have tickets, but I was contemplating. Well, Pam, you could have. I know. Journey? And, and who else? Toto? Toto. Isn't that Dorothy's little dog? Down in Africa. That's one and of my then Kenny Chesney is just a few miles north. Michael W. Smith, like the a big version. Christian like artist. He's just a little south. Get them all up there tonight. And Paval then this, and direct, is that how you say it? Paval and direct, and then contact? Sunday a exquisite. No, just Paval, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think some of them are coming there, too, because he said they were going to invite them well, in. I'm sure it's party there. Oh, my goodness. Super Jazz nice. Kitchen. Have you ever been there? No. I looked it up. It's yeah. like... Um, Trenton knew about it. Trenton said that's a pretty big It's nice. Place. Have you been there? <laughs> It's a it's Broadway a good little Broadway. drive, yeah. A little south of it's south of the main thing. Of it's like a I don't think there's a kitchen. Oh, well, the jazz kitchen. No, there's. I think they serve food. Do they? No. Yeah. Road trip. We're just talking live. We keep saying this, but we don't ever. Don't this would have been the night to go, we though. We do. We keep saying we're going to go to the corner bar too. We've never. <clears> Where's the corner bar? I don't know, but everybody. On the corner. corner. Yeah, it's on the corner <laughs> See, somewhere. Like that. That's an indie. I think so. It is. Right? Yeah. A lot of them. The different acts that Phil come in Pearl, here. Phil Pearlie, everybody plays there. Yeah. Doug Henthorne. You guys all them make guys me feel bad there. now because we've not done a road trip Slippery yet. Noodle, who was playing that one uh, chick that said over Effortless and sung. Oh, she, right? she was phenomenal. Rose was supposed to go up yeah, and the gal with her, yeah. that was in here with Rose. She's just like sitting here carrying on conversation with him. Goes into singing top mm-hmm. notch. Yeah. Sure, her voice was incredible. Yeah. Okay, this, all right. Wait a minute. Sorry, we, we Saturday. Say the music show. Saturday. Saturday. Cedar Creek, Pablo Direct, and Sunday Esquina. 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 And then you've got the Kentucky Derby. You've got prom. Is it? Yep. Yeah. You've got, I think, opening track. A day at Where's the track. Where's everybody getting their pictures taken this year? That's what I'm. And you've got IU graduation, which I will be at. So, tremendously busy weekend here in Mother's Central India. And That's Mother's right. Day weekend. I meant to say that. I stand. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm over here. That's why, sometimes that's, why, that's why Corey's here. Hello, Jennifer, Danette, Ron, Katie. All right. Enough of us and everything else. We want to talk to our guest, Pam Hurst. She's been in here a few times, and now she is the president. And I'm going to mess it up. Just the rediscovery. Rediscover Martin. Rediscover. I would say board. Rediscover board. Rediscover Martin. Yeah. yeah. Board president. How you doing, Pam? I'm doing good. Doing business okay? Business is getting better. Yeah. Yes. That'll make a huge. Just give it a few days. days. Yeah. You see next week. Wait until Monday. You see next week. Eighties, nineties. I'm like fifty to ninety. And... No, yeah, no spring. We went. Yep. So, so tell us a little bit about National Small Business Week, and some things we should know about it, and is you know how we can support it as a community. Okay. So, um, it is National Small Business. And then, you know, we have Small Business Saturday in November. And small businesses are actually considered any business under 500 employees. Wow. wow. So when you think small business, I think the average person thinks like my store. Mom and little pop stores shop. on the right. shops. But it's any business under five, 500 people. And then there's a sales, like up to like 20 million in sales or something. So they're not all as small as you would think businesses between one and five are really considered like micro businesses. So those of us on the square are more like a micro business, which is still a small business, but the porch right, times of micro business is what times <laughs> micro <Yes>. business. <laughs> wow. But interesting enough, 54% of all employees have few or all employers have fewer than five people in the oh. country. That's, that's interesting. Um, because the big employers are huge. And then everybody else. Fifty four percent of the businesses in this country have less than five hundred people. Less than five. People. Five people. Five less people. than five. Only less than five people. Wow, that's even more impressive. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of shocking, actually. Yeah, it is. Um, I know. It's like it's, yeah. I was looking up all kinds of weird stats. I knew some of them. Some of them I didn't know. Um, everybody knows 20% of all small businesses fail within their first year. 
mostly because of cash flow problems. Um, so when you get past first year, get past three years, it's, it gets easier. We, av- we hope. <laughs> <laughs> the average age of a small business owner is 50.3 years. Really? Yes. That's surprising, too. I'm right in, I'm, I'm right in, the, right in the average then. 60% you are, are between 40 and 60 people that start small businesses. So hmm. it tends to be an older yeah. person. That well, we get sick of working to... for the man and making the money, and then we're like, and we're like, going to go make our That's own. exactly right. They just tired of working for somebody else, and they want yep. else. <laughs> I don't even like working for myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> so there are 27 million Americans starting or running their own businesses. That's awesome. So, those are my fun little stacks, stats about small business. But um, supporting wise, they are really the core of your your communities. I mean, small communities especially, but even the bigger cities. You can tell by the stats. Fifty four percent. That sets half the nation. Um, they employ. I want to say like ninety percent of the people are employed by those fifty four percent of those businesses. Wow. Um. So wherever it's all it, it's a big industry and a big economic boost for wherever they are. And it's proven that like the money that comes in through small businesses, I'm going to get these all wrong. I need to write them down. 60% stays in the community versus like a big huge international business only 30%. I thought in it was community. even lower than that. It might be. Yeah. I said I probably yeah. have the numbers wrong, but there's a big difference there. Yeah. Because those people usually live here, work mm-hmm. here, kids go to school here, eat here, spend right. their money here, shop here, where bigger p- companies, people drive to them and then drive back and well, live in different It's funny, I made that post last night. I don't know what hit me, but I was like, man, I, I miss the old IGA days. So I posted yeah. it. 200 people's liked it and there's been like <laughs> 700 comments or something and I <clears throat> failed to realize the significance of it when I did it but so many people work for IGA. The Schwabs Bill did this community and so many others such a service by offering a business mm-hmm. and sure you're not going to be a, a, they call them checkers or, or dairy help or whatever you're not going to get rich doing that but as my first job at, working at East with Helen that was phenomenal and I, and I think very back very fondly of those days. And so many people miss the mom and pop grocery store. And it's nothing against Kroger or Walmart. Or if we had all these different. But anyway, um, we like that. And especially in middle America and small town USA. That is what is the backbone of every community. And we had that here for a long time. They run them out. You know, everybody gets to this one-stop shop. Go to Walmart and get A, B, C, D, shop for kids, shop for groceries, pick up my necessities, in and out in a half an hour, done. Done. But the mom and pop shops couldn't keep up with that. So, I mean, unfortunately, it's it's the way the way it is, but, man. There's still I, one in Morgantown. I there's think, one in Morgantown and there's one in Monrovia. Yeah. Freiburg's is an IGA. Yeah. And then, I didn't realize that was an IGA. Uh, the Woods had the one in... Randy did, town. and he had the one in oh, Patty Paris. Was a Schwab. Yeah. yeah, and they just sold it, I believe. Did they really? Yeah, I think. Not hundred percent sure. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if an individual lived here during that period that did not eat at that deli at IJ South at some <laughs> point in time, and that was some of the best chicken, brownies, biscuits, and gravy you could ever eat. And I just, <laughs> I never forget that as a kid. It was so cool. Your mom and dad could go shop and you could go eat brownies. I'm like, <laughs> and play the video game that was in the corner. Oh. So anyway, I don't mean to get off track, but that, that, uh, it, it, it's funny. This show comes up today and I, we were all going down memory lane last night, thinking that everybody and the individuals and the friendships and the bonds we had working it. I worked at East and uh, we always competed with the South cause those guys were bad and we didn't like them. And you know, it was just, <laughs> fun stuff but the heck they were in Paragon and here and in Morgantown and wasn't there the one in IJ when they all together wobbling them all I think yeah no, I'm not 
Not from here ago. that long ago. Oh, wow. Well. I know. Sorry. But it was fun times. And it My was, family was. It was <laughs> great for the community. And everybody supported that small business back then. And, I, and I'm not knocking. Yeah, I am. I'm knocking the Walmarts of the world because we know where they get most of their stuff. Honestly. And look at the shape we're in now. And I, I truly believe there's still a place for Walmarts oh, and Kroger's yeah. because they do employ a lot of people. And they do offer other things to the community, but you still have to have a mix. Yeah. And smaller stores um, can bring in different items mm -hmm. than larger mm -hmm. national of more like the small butcher shops up in Greenwood. I know there's still a few there. I think there's one in Mooresville. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can get a, a wide variety of different Fred's. things there than you can get at Kroger or Walmart. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's you know that room for both. Well, it's, and I remember Best Dow, Three Acre Market, right up Morgan Street, because we hit it every night. Um, it, and this goes into our realm of business. It's so hard to walk into one of them and say, hey, would you like to sponsor us? Fill out these sheets and we'll get back to you in 30 days. I'll send oh. it to corporate and yeah. they approve <laughs> yeah. it. When yeah. you, I can call you up and say, hey, can you want to sponsor something? Well, I can't this month or yeah, we'd be happy to. It's over within 10 minutes and we know. And on to the next little shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I mean, I I hate having to ignore them, but I don't want to yeah. fight them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going negative. Porch time should open in all these. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or, there you or go, Kevin. A little, a little yeah, a little. Save lots open. Or Save yeah. lots open over that. <clears throat> I've couple. seen a couple of you comments or a couple of comments on your post. I love all We these. need a little. Well, I'm, I'm going to get way off track now, but did you hear how all these was first made? How it was developed? Developed in Germany hmm. by two brothers. And they fought because one of them wanted to bring cigarettes on board and one of them didn't. <laughs> True story. And they opened another chain that was successful and I cannot think of it. But that's how all these began. Hmm. It was over in Germany during the 1930s and I'll just leave it at that. Telling you what, if you ever need a ham for Christmas or anything, yeah, they got the best. All really? these hams, yes. I just think it's cool. You go in there and you carry your stuff around with you, and you throw it in the bag and walk out. <laughs> I don't know why. You do and I, I, I leave you my have quarter. To bag them been? or box them yourself. Yeah. You've never end. been. Yeah, take you got a quarter with you. Quarter, so you can get your cart. And then you leave the quarter for the next. That'll be day. the hard part is having a quarter. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys take twenty five pennies. The kids enjoy that because they get to put the quarter in the slot and the chain and bag. Yeah, it's good That's stuff. Take your cart. Pam, let me ask you this: um, Have things improved downtown since COVID? Since construction, are we are we seeing some? I, I know we got a couple businesses closing, and unfortunately, uh, work. And and I'll get to this in a minute, but nobody wants to work anymore and I, you're probably blessed you only have a few people you have to worry about employment wise but i know some businesses down there are hurting still yeah and it's funny um on my facebook memories today it was three years today that we ribbon cut my new location so i moved block right three years ago and it was march of 2019 and it was pre-covid and pre-construction yeah and i even put on my post today i had six months until construction and COVID hit, because it was that September <clears throat> that they started shutting the roads down. Yeah. Um, well, they blocked off the whole entire downtown from that September to January to get that done so they could run the detour through there. Right. And then the detour started, and then COVID started, and then we shut down. <laughs> well, you, you re relocated and Kevin Green opened up all about the same time down there. Yeah. And you yeah, talk because... about first, hey, we're a new business. Can't get to us. Yeah. And, you know, COVID 2020, we were shut down <clears throat> from March, open May, possibly late May. And actually did better than we did in 2021. Really? With the detour and the construction now i think a part of that was covid and a pandemic and you know we pivoted we did online we did delivery we did curbside service so 
even though the store was shut down, I was in there. People would, you know, text me, whatever. They'd pull up. I'd run it out to the car. Um, but I think everybody wanted to help. Wanted to help everybody kind of right. stick it out and get through it. Well, oh, now. <laughs> wow. I'll we'll have to find a different sticker. We got a ton of them stickers. We could use those probably. Three or four of them. <laughs> Anyway, so Sorry. and then 2021, you know, we had the detour and the construction and um, I know I heard a lot, a lot of people like I'm not even going downtown. It's too busy. And that the traffic off 37 made downtown inaccessible. In it my didn't opinion. make it inaccessible. It made it harder. to get I, I mean, that is what you heard. That's what I heard. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I now, as I stated earlier, I didn't grow up here. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. Oh, you're, so my yeah. my frame of reference was way different. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, if, there, if there's more than three cars at the light in Martinsville, where's all this traffic coming from? Trust me. <laughs> and so, yeah, there was traffic and it was nonstop and they pulled the stop sign at my corner and that hurt because you, nobody could get across Morgan mm -hmm. Street. Um. But there was parking, and you could get around if you wanted to. But it it was an extra effort, I admit it. But that's when those people need you the most. That's when the businesses need you the most. is And it's the easiest to ignore everybody. It's hard. It's hard. Now, <laughs> this year, um, we've got everything roped off back there for the new stage going in, which has been awesome. But parking has been atrocious after the detour and so now this year i'm hearing i can't go downtown because there's no parking <laughs> so like it's excuse after excuse and i get it but like i've been to carmel i go to nashville <laughs> i never get to park immediately in front of the store i'm going right. in i no. always have to walk a block Blocks, or two i'm not or... walking a half a block that's what you hear and i'm just like <laughs> Yeah, I get it for some people it's hard, but there's a handicapped spot in front of my store and it's usually empty. So for those people that need it, that need it, there's, there's usually handicapped <clears throat> spots, but, um, that's yeah, what like, I have to say. A, it's, it's been a rough several years excuses. for everybody downtown. No. Downtown. I've yeah. done some circles before and waited for yeah. one to open I up. I mean, something. there's or always some in the courthouse on the outside, inside. Or just off the square somewhere. Always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And always. I had to park down in the middle of Jefferson on the down by Twenty One North today and mm -hmm. walk back to my store. But, but that gives you an excuse mm -hmm. to go into yeah. Twenty One North. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's and there's strategic. Public, there's public parking <clears throat> on the other side of Fleener's old building. There's public parking over next to the um, old Moose. But aren't we it's rectifying over. the parking situation? That's not a for sure thing yet. But still, I mean, there's still parking. There is parking. There's, yeah, there are city lots. Right. Yeah. There are three city lots around town. Yeah. We've survived all these years with the fall foliage and found yeah. spots, so we'll be we'll be fine. I love our downtown. I do too. What'd you say? I love our downtown. Yeah, me too. Wanna go, you'll find a parking spot. <laughs> right. That's right. There's some good shops on the square. <laughs> that's that's the key the whole night is shop local. Shop yeah. the small businesses. Yeah. And to segue this into Rediscover a little bit, the, I don't know how many people really even realize what Rediscover Martinsville is, but it's a Main Street organization that is within the Okra Department of the State of Indiana, and then there is a national organization that the State of Indiana belongs to, and it's actually an economic development program, pooling small businesses and the economic vitality of your economy and creating nice facades and upgrading downtowns and our it's usually the downtown area our specific district is the nine block historic downtown with the courthouse in the center so from pike to cloth no, that jackson jackson and will be the first sycamore to mulberry <clears throat> so that square everything within that square is really what Rediscover Martinsville is responsible for. Does that go all the way down to Wood and Cotton? Or... No. It doesn't go that far. But okay. we don't, I mean, we don't purposely exclude them. Yeah. But, and when we have functions and stuff, everyone's welcome to join in. It's mm -hmm. not like, but our very specific guidelines through the 
organization is that nine block area. And I made a list the other day because we're thinking about getting open signs for all the stores that match. And there are 30, around 30, open to the public, walk in my front door retail businesses within that nine block area. Wow. Because I said, oh, I probably need 10 to 20 flags. And I start writing names down. I think, oh my God, I'm up to 30. And that doesn't wow. include the law offices or the financial offices. It's just, or the lawyer's offices. It's just those people who would welcome someone walking through their front door to shop, to eat, to play, whatever. Right. Two points. Teresa asked for money. <clears throat> um, or one point, and then I got one. I went to downtown Indy yesterday. I paid $3 to park for an hour and a half. I walked six miles to get to my de destination. Our town is easy. When you go to Brown County, I guarantee you, you park a mile mm. away at least. And you pay. I the, always do. Right. From the easier. first store you're going in. <laughs> And you end up walking up and down that mountain the rest of the day mm -hmm. to again, get back to your car. I think she walked 0. 0.6 miles. Yeah, I think it's 0. 0.6. I six, six, six just, six let's just go. Be that's six miles. Just, that's a lot. lot of walking. Let's just go six, <laughs> Teresa. In an hour and a half, she's making good time. Four miles an hour, she'd have been fine. That's exactly right on pace. <laughs> Teresa, I'm sticking with six. I don't care if you corrected me or not. <laughs> oh, she did correct me. Oh, she did. <laughs> Trace Mesper maxed her she walking out yesterday. She is doing fantastic, though. After yes, she, she was is. sick last year, she's amazing. She I is. Can't even... We appreciate her. I missed her about Halloween. You said she showed up, right? I never saw her, out? but she oh. texted me that she, yeah, yeah. she was there. But I missed know. her. She says she's not that enthusiastic. <laughs> I didn't see her either, but I was out trying to hurt people. With golf well, clubs. she walked so fast, we just didn't. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Six miles an hour and a half. Pretty good. <laughs> Four miles an hour is average pace for a human being walking. <laughs> so, you'd ride on. Well, that's not my pace. I'll tell you so, what was, yeah. your, what was your point you were going to make? Brown County. You ever, oh. Everybody goes to Brown County. Yeah, you walk a lot. You go to the Indy 500, you park in Danville and walk to 16th Street. <laughs> Seems like it's So, nice. I mean. Billy had a question. Yeah, Billy wants to know how's the rent downtown now. Are you talking business wise or actual? Billy? Uh, there's not a lot open down there right now. There's one spot open next to me, and I think that's the only thing open. Right. I don't know. Billy, you thinking about opening up Billy O's again? Garden. He comes back with a cracker bar and block thing. <laughs> Billy's garden. Prices for buildings. Rent, rent prices. She, she doesn't know that off the top of her head. There's only one spot open. But I know a few others in town have closed. Hate seeing that, and I wanted to get into this. Um, the workforce wise, yeah, it is. Oh. I, as someone wanted us to put on a, and I had broke my mouth and said, We'll do a, <laughs> I'm going to, I've seen it. We'll do a, um, oh, That's good. to get people to go to jobs, a job, job, job fair, jo you know, hold one at the RMC, do a job fair, get all the business there. And I had three or four prominent business people message me right off the bat, and they're like, Kevin, we'd love to do one. But for four hours, we'll sit there and talk to each other because no one will come. And then I started asking our HR where I work and other places here in town, and they're like, you'll set an interview up. They'll come in. I'll be here tomorrow. Won't show. Yeah, I'm interested. Won't show. Won't call. That's scary. That's happening all over the country right now. And I, so I try to shop here in town as much as I can because you got to protect your own first, you know. And I think as a whole, the community needs to do that. And, yeah, I, baby boomers are retiring, right? And the upcoming generations just weren't as big. And so that's going to, by means of economics, if companies go under, there's not going to be you know, all going to have to right get a new equilibrium so you're going to either have less employers i can get more people all of a sudden no right <laughs> Br brandon applegate anyone having trouble walking a few blocks to the business downtown come see me and we'll get that business is booming <laughs> <laughs> love doc he's not far off the square there he's he's uh located the old dg graphic building i believe mm. brandon across the road yeah no with the windows? That's where he's at. 
DG used, used to be there. Was there? PRT yeah. Was. Yeah. PRT. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, I, I was thinking the the Jim Sass. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. Jim's been there yeah, forever. Been there. Yeah, Brandon's right in that building. Hello, JB. That building's for sale, right? It's sold. Oh. Yeah. I know oh, that's it. fast. About the whole. Hmm. I figured. I what you're gonna say. What building? Okay. Hopkins and Woods, PRTs. Oh, that building. That Capital. entire block. Wow. It's going to be interesting. That's good, though. Yeah. But the bad thing is they're probably going to move out of where they're at. Who? But that's good because we'd like to get more retail right on the square to help that, us. That so is true. PRT that would help. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, if the locks move out of there, then retail. Because that's the... Like almost all the retails up on that Washington and Main corner, and what we see is people don't want to make the loop. That's so far to walk. So far to walk. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you know when I was back on the other corner where Painted Cottage is now and the local grind is in my old spot. Yeah, that's really like a whole nother block. So. <laughs> The more we can get a Morgan Street, it gives people a reason to walk around. Yeah. Like, because yeah. then it's not just I'm walking over there for one store. It's like, right. oh, let's go see what all those other stores are over there. Well, I mean, if you go through the time of this city, you went to Super Sports, you went to the Candy Kitchen, and you went to the bank. And that was that was about it. And it's one time you had Quinn Salvage and Smaltz's and, and J.C. Penny was down there. Uh, Sears was down there. Newberry's was down there. Candy Kitchen. These are all then, different times? Yes. And hit now? and miss. And oh, then Newberry's. the Martinsville Kitchen. Burgers were so good. I'm telling you. Dip printing. Then you had the mixing bowl. Um, but I mean, never, I don't think our community's had what we've had to offer right now downtown. That's you, fantastic. Oh, yeah. For Friday nights, uh, um, especially on the southwest corner with the mexican restaurant kevin greens it is packed down through there and now the cigar bar which Corey's <laughs> a well-known man there but it's a it's a I've good it's a great and, and i mean honestly even if even if you're not a smoker and you don't like cigar smoke you need to walk in there and look at it because when the first time yeah. i walked in there i was like mm-hmm. yeah, this does not belong in very nice my first thought i hate yeah. saying that but it's magnificent brandon says a uh, small business on a small business owning health care provider. That's worth it. Then Bruce says, Pam, I'll be sending Steven soon to shop. I haven't had any new items in a while. <laughs> <laughs> we'll help him. What's up, Nick? Jeremy says, we need a oh, men's clothing store downtown. Yeah, that, that, that has been brought up yeah. several times. Well, why don't we? <laughs> have a, go but ahead. Will sorry. the guys come shop? Yes, that's, that's the problem. The when yeah. our clothes are dirty, we will. <laughs> you get I the, don't even know if you buy new clothes gotta have, for so long. Got to have the have last, big yeah. boy sizes, too. I mean, you know. No, but I'm still, a, will you go shop? Did they sell bibs yeah. there? I always wonder why. And I know we used, in style, so probably. I always wonder why, and I thought we had one for a while, a rental shop. Even if it's just a little mm-hmm. front door yeah, place of rental, bring it in. Oops, rent what? Tucks and, and yeah. prom dresses. They used to. We well, used where to. the barbershop was, yeah. was mm-hmm. a formal dress shop, and I think she rented tuxes out of there, mm-hmm. too. Because we have yeah. to go to Greenwood. We had to go to Avon. Yeah. I went to Avon, Avon. yeah, because yeah. I worked right there. But yeah, it's hard to find jean shorts. Jeremy said, "Shorts, <laughs> <laughs> you dig out your old short jeans and cut them off." Yeah. So yeah, we've tossed around like what other businesses. So this this would be great information to send back to me. What other businesses would people like to see on the square? Because we're always looking for something different than we already have. What would bring more people in? And, you know, not just Martinsville people. We get people visiting from all over the state, other states. I had people from Michigan and Florida in last week. It's amazing Mm -hmm. when you're not involved, you think it's just Martinsville, right? Martinsville can't support this. Well, it's not just Martinsville. There are people stopping Mm -hmm. from all over, which is a good thing. It's a great thing. Um, But, you know, new and different things would just attract even more people. Right. Teresa says Steve says they have men's wear at Rural King, which is I, valid. I agree. Yeah. My my thing is you gotta give them reason to get off the interstate. And it, you can literally be past Martinsville in thirty seconds now. And if we don't start start upgrading and improving what we have, 
It took Lebanon, what, 15 years after the interstate went through there before they saw an explosion like they're getting now. But it was a long time of nothing. You drove right up that interstate and right through there, and there was nothing. And it's growing now. But we got to give them a reason it's to get off the interstate. It's still hard to get down. I mean, now they got south side shut down. So the people coming from the south can't, they don't know how to get in town. They get directed. Is that supposed to be? I don't know. See, that's kind of. I mean, they've wiped it out. It's It, it, it can't be something quick. That's bad because you got the whole bunch of people coming down for graduation Saturday. Yeah. And it's a mess. How do you get on the interstate? You can oh, get on the you interstate. You can get on it. You can, you can yeah. get on it down there on 39. Yeah. It, it, they it's have just, the new ramps, but they're closing down where you drove right onto it. They're, that's going to all be closed. By the bowling alley? Well, yeah. People are coming from Bloomington and they get off They get exit. off on the other side. They get redirected to Southview. Well, if you're not from around here, you really don't. I mean, that kind of goes one way, but... Teresa yeah. says... You're going to end out on, on Haleysville there. But it's just a mess. Tomorrow she's closing a home in Martinsville and the people are moving here from New York. They're in for a culture shock. Jeremy says road Depends frontage should... Right, from, right, it could be upstate <laughs> and it'd be fine. Road frontage should have been on 69. Yeah, they're working on that. So will you always be able to still get on 69 if you drive through there or is that going away? Yes. You, you'll, the no, ramps are going to be just, open. That was a temporary ramp. So they're yeah. just fixing it now for the it true like ramp. Yeah, where there, it's going to be a double line. roundabout. Yeah, I where think the stoplight like is now, is. or it's not yeah. now. They took it out. Where the bowling alley, yeah, the school bus place used to be yeah. right there. Oh, I okay. Think it was it's all the way down there. Now. Yeah. So you can tell how they got it all carved wow. out. You can still, if you're going out of town, you can still get yeah, on. Yeah, just the, go around the roundabout and get on there. Just coming north, you get redirected. You can't go through under under the under bypass, you can't. Gotcha. Really? Wasn't that where everybody was worried about falling on their side anyway? Yeah, that, that real sharp Yeah, that's the turn. sharp turn. Is not, that staying? Not when you're doing the speed Yeah, bypass. but there's yeah, speed limit signs up now, so yeah. I think that I think helps. it's done, yeah. They're doing the other side of the interstate. Gotcha. So okay. what I'm hearing you tell me, Pam, is that I need to do a poll on porch time tonight. What new downtown businesses yes. would we like what, to see? What would you like to see come downtown? See that? That is beautiful. That's a reason to do a poll tonight. He and loves doing polls. Okay. I gather that information and I use it. When and I'm... no Cracker Barrels downtown. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Billy. That's our show. We're done. That's, That's it. That's got to go on the highway. <laughs> Billy's very disappointed, though. You know what? The Cracker Barrel would go over well downtown, though. That'd be awesome. They give them a reason to get off the interstate. That yeah, would definitely because they they drive for miles at the one over there in Plainfield to load that one up. But and the Bloomington too is packed all the time. That is an ideal location too. So we drove to four block of the Cracker Barrel and in a small town. I even looked up the like population of this town, and it was less than Martinsville. And they had a Cracker Barrel on the highway. Of course, it was a major highway. But we now have a major highway. It was like a smaller version. Like, I had never been in one. It oh. was like tinier. Like a crack keg. Yeah. Not so a barrel. It was kind of cool. <laughs> but... like so maybe water? there's hope. Crack but... keg. <laughs> cracker. Well, it's not okay. full cracker. It's just crack <laughs> keg. But Teresa's is Italian restaurant. I had this. What? Teresa's is Italian, Italian restaurant. restaurant. But I, I don't think we need any more food establishments. And I hate saying that because I... I fear there are still a couple downtown that are going to struggle to stay open. And that's just from what I gather. And I hate that. You're not. <laughs> Brandon says we need axe throwing. Yeah, I agree with that. There's hey, Betty and her Fazolis. The, yeah, yeah, that's been mentioned several times. Fazolis. No, axe throwing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, it's always well, in right. at people something to do or you got something to right. eat and then you that, can play yeah. that is what well, we are lacking is the play it from part from Monsters RS and put it somewhere right I saw he had he has those but stuff. if you had a you, if you had a location that offered that for meals and some playtime and I'm just saying but Dave's and Dave and Buster's which just doesn't have I don't think the axe throwing but similar to that mm -hmm. where it's not Chuck E. Cheese it's more of an adult theme where you're going to find fun stuff to do mm -hmm. on a Friday night and stay in town without having to drive to Greenwood, Bloomington, Plainfield, or on further. And that would be, that would be something interesting. Do you have a big enough building for that? Not mm -hmm. for something that combined all of it. But if you could put X growing in one building, you already have the restaurants to eat at, where you could just, you know, yeah. wander around the square. 
um, get a couple different. Next to Pam is an open yeah. business so right now. It looked like the axe throwing. It looked like, <laughs> it looked like when I was driving by the day yesterday that um, Daniel Elliott had moved into the old frame shop. Yes. So what's going on with that building on the corner? You know. Oh. Are you allowed to tell? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think it's. Worked on comics. It's coming back down to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good for well, that'll be good. That'll be good. I yeah. did not know that. I think he said he's coming. Really? He's did they cool. rent the, out this out there at Radio is Shack or no? Comic book. It's his brother's business. Day. I think. Okay. Well, he's comics. Eric is right. comics, and then his brother, brother is was the, the radio. The shack. hobbies. Yeah. Yeah. I love going in there because there's still a little bit of Radio Shack left in the corner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's well, like glad it's too, National Mike. Comic Book Day this Saturday. Well, didn't yeah. we go live? We always go. Yeah, yeah well, we've done we, it before. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, something but, else going on this weekend. I know. Yeah. Yeah, we need to. Yeah. Hello, Tina. Yep. we got to get Devin over there. He loves comic books. Does He's he? bought a lot of comic books. See, that's like a dying art, though, mm -hmm. in this country. Is your and Marvel I'll... and your DC stuff, which I still don't follow. I didn't follow as a kid, but so many people grew up reading that stuff. And a lot of kids' books. Like Devin has a lot of series, you know, book series. <laughs> series but um, they also will print them as a graphic novel, too. Really? So he he doubles up. I'm like, you don't need that book. You already have it. Yeah. I want the graphic novel, too. Okay. But, um, yeah. What so. is in the basement of the old 5 and 10 store? Newberries? Five and ten is where um, the retreat at is. It's building it has the five and the ten at the top. Um, at Maine uh -huh. and Morgan. Yeah, Maine and Morgan. Oh, the old coin shop that used to be Mike's coin shop in there. It was. Yeah, but I mean, well, I, mean I know where it's at now. It's, I don't it's know. All, it's in the Mike's, basement. Mike's, Mike's coin shop used to be in the basement. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there, was he talking about on the, there was a side entrance? Right yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. It shot. Oh, down. yeah, there is. No, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I don't know about the well, basement, I but went down it's, there. But I always remember seeing that. Used to be an old coin shop. Yep. Yeah, apartments for fifty-five and up. What's in the building? Yeah. Age-wise or price-wise? Fifty-five years <laughs> old and price-wise, you'd be moving. There right <laughs> if I didn't ask it, I can guarantee you, you somebody are would almost fifty-five. Bethany, a couple weeks. I told everybody you're eligible. twenty-nine. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I know where I'm going to go. Wait till Amy Crow gets in here. Because I'll be like, got my room ready over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, I need help. <laughs> That's Kevin. Leave him alone. We need a comedy club. <laughs> that, would be, that would be nice. Jerry Elsner would want on there for sure. Right? Yep. <laughs> Jerry's the best. <laughs> he Hopefully the one depot yeah. will start being open again. The what? The mm -hmm. depot with the... Mac players. And but see, we oh, have a stage now, too. In... What? For well, warm time. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can do the some winter stuff. Inside, so. Put some heaters out there. I think during the summer that would be fun. Yeah, that would be. To have plays or whatever. Um, Hopefully everybody will. Multitude of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ready. September? Yes. Yep. Got to announce it on Monday, right? 17th. Mm -hmm. We we can't discuss. No, it's the ninth. September ninth. Yeah, it'll be done. Ruth, hello, Ruth, hello, Michelle. Uh, you know, and this year just seems to be flying Michelle by. Oh, Not Mother really. Do you see what Jeremy says? Greg says a huge oh. basement for video games and duck pen. That would be. I awesome. mean, that's how stuff is on Mass Ave. You're either you're walking up, up or three down. or four flights of stairs, or you're going down in the basement for well, different businesses and then on different levels. Little. I don't know if it's duck pin bowling or a little new bowling alley in Franklin. Yeah, it's duck pin. It's not very wide or Ten pins. big either. It's little. Didn't you play a football bowling game somewhere? Yeah. Which was hilarious. You didn't share the video with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they only gave me the regular big size footballs in my but hand. It something... <laughs> it's like, you know, my hand is only this big and the football's like this big. Something like that. Like that. Now that place is huge. But I mean, it doesn't mean it Something has like to that be would that be big. Fun here. The axe throwing, the duck pin, the ball. It'd be cool to have. And I think we're getting there. It's, I think so too. We're, we've come a long way from pretty much nothing downtown. Right. Like vacant buildings. And back, I'm not complaining. I love our downtown people. But back to the, we know, is not 
it's hard to get there, this and that. Those other businesses look at how we're doing sure. before they'll commit to come True. in. So the less and less activity they see, the odds of somebody opening something new become less and less. So, right. I mean, you help us, but you also help the city and you help develop the new businesses coming in because they look at those stats. I mean, your, your sales are all public record. File sales tax. Anybody can look up what kind of sales the city has. And Sure. So spend your money downtown. Right. If you want it to keep growing. <laughs> Eat. Play. Yeah. There's no play. We need play. So you got to eat and shop to get the play. That's right. <laughs> do do the, do the days like the cookie stroll, small business Saturday, the Christmas tree lighting, do they, do they help you guys out? It, it, I mean, anything's a help, I'm sure. But can, can you see a difference? In, and we keep doing more stuff downtown. <clears throat> can you see that growing as a business owner? Could you see that the more and more people are coming? Yes. Car shows on Thursday. Yeah. Yes. So as a business owner, and this, I'm speaking as my business, not sure. all. Cookies, anything that's targeted toward shopping or supporting the stores helps immensely. So small business Saturdays, phenomenal. Cookie strolls, phenomenal. Um, Cookie Stroll is Rediscover Martinsville event. <laughs> Just plug that, Rediscover. That's good. Um, <clears throat> so those really help the businesses. I don't know how well those help the restaurants. Mm -hmm. I assume people that are out shopping stop for lunch and stuff too. The car shows, the fall foliage festival, the tree lighting, not so much. It makes the area seem exciting and busy and that's all good and you get visibility and we get people that come back I was gonna say they may not go that night right but a week later but they come back but it, um it's hard to get people are very one task oriented hmm. even the concerts like on thursday nights during the summer People walk by my store with their chairs to go to the concert and they look in the windows and it's a half an hour before the concert starts. And I'm like, come on in and got the doors open with the side door, the front door. They're going to the concert. They go to the concert. They sit and wait for the concert to start. And, and you know, not even buy, but just come in and see what we have on your way. Um, but it's hard to get people to do two or three different things at one time. So if they're going to the car show, they go to the car show. Sure. Now. We do get wives shopping a little bit from the car show events if they have their wives <laughs> with them. <laughs> Women are only going to look at so many cars and then they're done. They want to go look um, at cool stuff for them. Fall foliage, they're down there to ride rides and buy funnel cakes. Although uh, I got to say. Ice cream from the candy kitchen. Just... <laughs> only been on the square for one fall foliage festival. So right. I don't really can't judge. It was okay. Well, I, I was on the board for a while and I stepped away from it. But I want to say this. I do not like the customer appreciation when they line them up at the picnic tables. And I hate saying it that way because downtown is sacred. And I think that the businesses should do like the years in the past. Open your door. Bring a table out if you want. Give away your hot cider, your cookies. But have the people walk door to door. Because now it's a big coupon grab. You get, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I get it because other businesses in town want in. Then buy a business downtown. Find a location. Or those other businesses can do the whole do it. And I think what that's really now. what happens. I don't I don't do the table. The I people, open the door and But the have line a of special people going only on. go there. They yeah. they hit the freebies and they're gone. They're gone. Mm -hmm. So that's not fair to me. And and I'm i I'm not on the board, so I can, and I've never brought this up to it, but to me you're hurting you're yeah. you're hurting the cus the businesses you're supposed to be showing appreciation well, to. Not going to be there anymore i don't think anyway i don't think it's coming back to the square it is coming back oh it is mm -hmm. well that's me i thought they loved it so much at the fairgrounds and I then also i confirmed that the other day because there was two uh schools of thought there and yeah. i went and asked that's why i find out but yeah they do need to do better for for the pe for the people on the square because that whole weekend, I mean, they take all the parking, they yep. take everything. So there's, well, they there's shut the square down, right? Yeah, it's pretty much shut, shut down. So, uh, but I, I, I always, I always remember as a kid, the coolest thing was the Thursday night customer appreciation. 
and you went in every business. Every business is open. It's like <laughs> nine o'clock at night. And you're like, uh, what was the shoe store? Was it um, Lloyd's owned it? The shoe store on the west side. Everything was open. Nine o'clock at night. You're like, wow, downtown's lit up. But you went everywhere. Super stores, pennies, even the bank was giving away stuff. Ate a lot of cookies, drank a lot of cider. But that was part. That's part of it. And I think that's part of the fun of the fall foliage and having downtown sacred let's let's show love and i'm not knocking the other businesses in town believe no. me right and the other businesses could partner with a business on yeah. the square like we could right yeah. you know i could have you two could, businesses I mean, in front of my store but here's yeah. here's the way i look at it. the other business in town during fall foliage week you guys get shut down they get to reap the benefits of people coming here and then getting away from downtown and maybe hitting their store on the way home or coming in that's just my thought on that. I could be way off, but I don't think I am. I, I just wish they'd go back to the way it was on that. Or maybe they will. That's my rant. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I just like that. I just like the thought of you're you're building a rapport when someone walks up to your store and gets a cookie from you and tell, oh, what do you do here? Well, we paint gadgets or gadgets or whatever here, and we or we sell Mar Marvin the Martians or whatever. And it's an interaction that you don't, you won't normally get because they're not going to be down there. I seen that you see cat. That? I, was I like, know. Where was it? I was walking it was by. A cat. It was a cat. Oh. There's a lot of feral cats around here. The bats away. I'm good with that. The bats. <laughs> the bats. Yeah, I wish we would go back to the back the way it used to be with that because I want our downtown to succeed. I want it to grow. I want our whole city to grow. Yeah. But I think our downtown has been given so many disadvantages lately. Um, and of course, people make a lot of excuses. We all do, and, and we need to get over that. Yeah, and it it's it's all going to be for the good of Martinsville in the end. But right. it's it's just been. I mean, I want that stage there. I have to live through mm -hmm. what it's doing to me right now, and that's okay. And the highway, I think, will be a good thing in the end. The mm -hmm. housing mm -hmm. coming in will already be bringing more people to Martinsville. So as all that grows, that's all good for all of us. But you know, it's painful. Yeah. Right. Jeremy Growing says. stages. Um, sidewalk sales. Uh, hello, Michelle from Iowa. Nice Hi, to see Michelle. you. Michelle. Stores hours for store hours for evenings on Friday and Saturday. Put like have sidewalk sales, and then uh, he says bring back the go kart track downtown. Where's it go? Yeah, it was very fun oh, deal. Were yeah, you here right. when that no. went on? Someone contact me about that, and we'll talk about that off air. Free thing? Yeah. Because it's that time. It was around this time, wasn't it? Race month? Well, one time it happened close to the fall, oh, okay. and then one time it happened before. But that was very cool, and then they ran it one time out by the high school. But I had somebody message me about that the other day, so we're going to we'll chit-chat about that. So our third Thursday, we are open late till 8 o'clock on the third Thursday of the month. There you go. And we started that to see if people would be interested in shopping in the evenings. And it hasn't been overly successful. Um, some months are better than others. But we, every business owner down there would love to be open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. I, I guarantee you, if there was <clears throat> business, people would be open. And so we opened till eight on the third Thursdays thinking if this works, then we're going to open till eight every Thursday. And if that works, then we're going to start opening on Friday. Sure. And we haven't grown yet because we haven't seen too many results, but this third Thursday is sidewalk sale day. So there you go. Um, May. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's look at our calendar. It's like the 19th or the 17th thing. Let me get the barn out here. Right. Um, can't read it. We are having sidewalk sales. I think it's a 20. No. You could get up and walk over there. That's what you told Kevin. I know. Hello, Marilyn. The 19th. 19th. Thank you, yeah. Michelle. God bless you, dear. So do you think maybe Thursday is just not the right day? What if you... I don't know. We've... Everybody struggled and played with different hours and... Yeah. I don't know what the right, right answer is. Busy with people coming to eat. Lot. Friday, that so, corner uh, by the post office is shop? massive. That's it. They come to eat with husbands and families, and they don't necessarily. 
So. Like John, Candy Kitchen does well, but he's kind of got that in between. Yeah. Store where it's fun to go in and get dessert, get ice cream after dinner, whatever. I love that chocolate. I know dinner. the bookstore and her boutique are open a little later, I think, Fridays, but they're right there also. I've tried the opposite. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? You're a block away and you still can't reap for the benefits of that. And the concert. Yeah. It was. And that's why we picked Thursdays, because of the cruising Cruise and the in, other things that were going on, start. thinking we already mm -hmm. have, you know, a base point. Um, when the gallery that was next to me closed down last July and Peachy closed down, you, there was a noticeable change in yeah. walking. You're like on an island. Yeah, now I'm the only retail business. Inside. There's no retail in So I'm it. There's none on Morgan, none on Jefferson besides me. I'm the corner of Morgan Jefferson. So. Oh wow, yeah. And looking at that now. There you go. Plug your business page. So you're you're somebody <laughs> wants to know what store you're at. the Sterling Butterfly. Sterling Butterfly. And she's a lot of good sponsored stuff. almost men everything we do. Yep. Stuff in there. So Yeah, we keep trying to get more and more men's stuff, so because that's another thing we've heard a lot of. But we promote artisan, locally made stuff and it's really hard. Artisan made. So taking suggestions for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do a poll later. I'm telling you, it's coming. I can't wait. We'll see what. And I'm going to get the normal Cracker Barrel on the Fazoli's. That's all right. The, the, you got to gotta dig through the, to find the pearl sometimes. <laughs> well, what's going in next to White Castle? So but I mean, that makes it. But that also. going to come as a comment. But it, it, when you we do stuff like that, and people are always like, I can't keep up because there's so much garbage. But every time you post on there, it pushes it back to the top, and more people see it, and then somebody will, mm -hmm. you know, you might get 10 bad ones, but one good one. And I that's hope why so, I too, run. Jeremy. Hopefully What's this summer say? will be a good one for downtown. Right, for all of them. We don't want any mm. more to close. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a struggle for everybody right now across the country, not only our community, but... Entire big cities are struggling. Um, hopefully, well, I don't want to say curve because curve's not a good word right now, but we want to get over the hump and start heading back to some more familiar territory. If that's possible. You got a business on the square too, but you're not retail. You're in a loud zone. You're not far from her. Maybe that building would be almost big enough to that space between yeah. um, Prowess and Wig. It would be wide enough because it's. They're throwing. There's a one there too. Yeah, it's, it's hurting, no, it's hurting everywhere. Is it as loud? Barnesville needs a bowling alley. <laughs> we had a bowling alley. We didn't support it. Nobody Linda. went. Why that was a down? bad thing. It wasn't shut down because of the interstate. I was there the last night. Closed them out. Oh, we went well. bowling there. We, I didn't even realize it was I the last I remember night. you were going bowling. Yes. And before we left, somebody's birthday, I don't know, it's one in the family. Before that we left, they were just loading the kids up with boxes of candy and stuff. Because they were. didn't even they call were, us. I, I don't even know when that was. We used to go like, there quite often. Yeah. We did too. I went to that movie theater two times a month, easy. Because it was well priced, Easy. it was right here. You walk in and watch all the good movies. Need it closer to downtown. No, you went. I remember you going bowling. Really? Yes. It seems like it was so. Is no. that where you guys met, and then you guys <laughs> were your campaign manager? <laughs> no, we we met on a just we met on a campaign. For Brent and when Rich oh, yeah? and when Rich and Brent were going at and we got stuck oh, out in the middle yeah. of nowhere and we had nine hours sitting there going, So what do you do? Because there's no one coming to vote. <laughs> and it's ninety out here. Remember that? Yeah, I remember. And if it wasn't for Judge Hansen chilling up and talking to me for two hours, Beth would, and after that Beth was like, I don't I'm getting out of the way from you because you two are crazy. <laughs> that was fun times. Yeah, Jeremy brought up the Thursday concerts this year are gonna be right in front of twenty one North. So. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. Moe's on Dallas. I don't know. I mean, if we're mm-hmm. just right around the corner. I mean. That should help. Most on Douglas. Yeah. Yeah, the concert setup is different this year because the stage is not finished. The stage is going to face north on Jefferson, right starting out right there in front of 21. And the crowd is going to sit on, it, Jefferson. on Jefferson and in the courthouse area. Because all the people are going to be right at your doorstep. Free candy. Come on <laughs> in. Free kittens. Come on in. <laughs> Hey. Free kittens probably won't bring people. In. <laughs> oh, but then, no, bring kids I in. mean, you if you if you're an, you can't sell anything animals wise now. Right. But I mean, you think about the old pet stores. Oh yeah, those are you if you had something like that now, I think you would sell out every day. People what? are huge animal lovers. They won't go to the Humane Society to buy animals. And they won't do that. But if you had an old timey pet store, fish and whatever you know, those would sell out in a week. The, those were the old, old days, though. Now they got it all. Do they have fish at Pets? Yeah, they do. They used to have it at Walmart, too. Mm-hmm. they go back there and tap on the baby. <laughs> and then my kids wanted one, and the one didn't make it long. The other two did. So then, of course, every third day, then I was going to get another beta because they all died. Seems like when the boys were younger, every time we went to the fair, we come home. That's Go right, Rob. Hermit, hermit crabs. Right. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got some catching up to do. Hang on. Yeah, we need to put that one on. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's got a new counter, Rob, and it's Tuesday nonstop. Night. What's Tuesday night? Oh, what I just Hang on. Phone? There are so many people struggling. My business is booming because of the people unable to keep their homes. I've I've seen so many people step to, in to help their neighbor. I'm grateful to live in a community that's connected to another. That was from Teresa. <clears throat> Uh, Linda says she supports the downtown when she comes home. And then Rob, this Tuesday night at 6.30, Kevin will be shaking his honky-tonk bononkadonk on the square. Oh, is that the big yeah. flash, mob flash mob that's yeah. been going yeah. on? I am not shaking you anything like that. Yes, you have to be buy you some cowboy boots this weekend. I've probably got a pair in there somewhere. They're probably not. I was in Nashville last, <laughs> last week. I came home with a cowboy hat. And that Really? Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. in Nashville, huh. Tennessee. I have a hat. I boots. Remember, I used I need to. I get used me a, to be stationed out near Texas. We'd go to Gillies on the weekend. Rip from Yellowstone cowboy hat. There you go. You hey, you're just one pair of glasses away one, from really one, from thanks, Kevin. from looking like Rip. Rip. Rob, are you going to be shaking your honky tonk with donk donk also? Pam's going to be there. Bethany's going to be there. Yep. He's, you know, where he's at right now. Is this like a I guarantee he's at Mexican restaurant. Flash mob, or is it just people yeah, showing no, up? Yeah, no, it's going to be choreographed. Yeah, yeah. we're going to go there and learn how to do it, and then they're going to... What time do we got to be there? He said it, 6.30. It's 6.30, I think they're filming at 7. Oh, very good, we're very good. Well, I was going to say, and, and we do we have the lessons. show Tuesday? She goes right to the board yeah, now. Yeah, Lindsay, <laughs> because it's Mike's birthday, oh, but May 10th. Can you show May 10th? We won't be done with Donkin by then, will we? Well, if we dance at seven, I might Eight be at the seven. ER with a hip issue by then, too. <laughs> <laughs> Monday evening, big announcement. Well, if you're watching, correct. we might have to push you to eight. I don't think so. See, mind. this is why we need the calendar. So the calendar is going to make our life so much The calendar would be much better. better if it was like in this general area and with larger, bold print instead of. Oh, I we have to, we're going to adjust. We're going to adjust. Right. I'm going to need a drop down Rob here. Said it, if, if it will shake, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need the calendar. What? Quit telling him, tell him to quit beating up on me. I'm not beating up on you. He's going to get mad at me in a minute and tell me no, get out. Kick me out of my own studio. Get out. If it'll shake, I will try. That's going to be a big crowd down there. Hey, is, so. uh, is Hanson going to do it? He's in New York right now. What? Isn't he with the one the judge was supposed to walk out and kick it off? Oh, did I, I just spill the beans that. here? No. I don't. You probably are. I'm Rob, am I talking about school here? Why Rob don't tell you things. Ahead he don't. Time. And he'll feed me something that's not even true, and I'll say it to somebody, and they're like, it's not true. I think he talked about it at that time. I, think yeah. he, I thought he did yeah. on air, too. Yeah. But Hanson's in New York. Uh, he's going to see his daughter at... Um... He had to go pick somebody up. He had to go pick his, a kid his up. His kid, yeah. This is next Tuesday. Waiting on an answer. Okay, good. I'll message him tonight and tell him you need Judge to get there. Judge Williams would love it, I bet. Yeah. We got he's coming in. He's gonna come hang out with us. His exact words were whenever you're bored and you want to go live, call me. I live right here in town. I'm like, 
You have no idea. <laughs> How many times I message you guys at eight o'clock at night? You guys want to go live? Nope. So you need to bring the hearse. You guys go. Take That's live. that. I I. That would be. Fun. You wouldn't like. That. I know. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Like scary but stuff. somebody else can do that. I'm not riding in a hearse well, see, unless I'm I have. I'm gonna have ghost tours in the fall downtown yes. this year. <laughs> Here you go. Because we've done. Can you help me? Yeah. No, okay. we've done it. What we did? No, we, didn't we, we did a, a PT paranormal. We went and did a, a house here in town. And you we're were there. Street. You were there. Yeah. We had yeah. me and Wilson. You get yeah. Brad Wilson joined us. And Wilson was with us. And so him and Brad went all through the house, and her and I were sitting at Command Central, you know, like official ghost hunters. At a table with her headsets. Headsets on, headset. literally. And she's, her, she's here. Her, we're, we're this tight. <laughs> And we go back and listen to the footage. Corey does that night. At 2 a.m. Texas, we picked a voice up. Through our system, like it was repeating what she said. So, it ghost like goosebumps. It was, it was like it was mocking me. So, I've not, nah, we're no. not doing that no more. And then they're like, come on! Yeah, like, Wilson even I says he'd go I again. I hear I have ghosts in my building, I've been told. So. Go! See, Let's see how it goes. I want to see, see him. I yeah, want to meet them. The lady's house we went to had said she. She knew there was ghosts. There. Yeah. So your your building's haunted. That's what I've been told. Um, we, and I would go there because I run out that front door and scream. <laughs> Sing them, right. Julie Payne was supposed to. I'm down for haunting tours and ghost hunting. See, <laughs> PT Paranormal is back, baby. <laughs> we'll just leave you home, Kevin. Well, well home. I have a right as my door opens ajar a little bit over there a little I'm bit. I just whoa. Um, Whatever. I have, a, I have a good pastor buddy. You don't have that, ghosts in here. You just have bats. <laughs> that I actually went to lunch with today, Steve, the guy I keep trying to get here for Hour of Hope. Um, he's a big biker dude, six five, and but he always Hey dummy, you don't want to do that, invite something in that you don't want. And that's what he tells me. And when he told me that it made sense. He goes, Why you mess with that? So that registered. Then when we go there and then I hear mm -hmm, in my ear. <laughs> Make sure once we're done, we'll just come over here and set the studio. No! <laughs> we'll go to Beth's Unat house. Unattached. We'll go to Beth's house if he wants we'll to do it. <laughs> I've probably still got that on my phone somewhere. PT How long Paranormal. Was that? Three years that ago. Pre COVID. Yeah, four years. It was like our first year then. See, yeah, you've known me it. that longer than that. You don't even know it. I bet it was the end of 19. Towards the yeah. fall of 19. It was, it was, in, it was chilly out. We'd been doing. Time for a real while, so yeah. it wasn't the first year. Hello, Kelly. Yeah, that was a good. Ch Are you cold? No, I'm not. I hope not. But... She's only I'm 66. Nice. I'll pick it up a notch for her because I'm okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And if we do it, we'll go to your location okay. first. There you go, Beth. Beth, you gotta leave the charge upstairs. We're putting you upstairs. Negative. I'll be out. The, I'll be out in command center, out in the car. How's it going in there, guys? Basement's pretty creepy. No, you, you, you got a basement. Oh, so you do have a basement. No. We do have a basement. Oh, yeah. basement. No. <laughs> we'll have to get a hold of Wendy. She's got the ghost kit. As you can tell, we yeah. didn't catch nothing in the whole house. Right where he was set. Stop it! I, I, will, I will leave him instantly. No. There's the bat. That was I got so... your bat video. The, the, you did the, you? Bat video the, so, the funny thing about that. In here, he was in this other room. The, well, all of a sudden, you'll see the, a duck. The funny thing about that is the night before, we had like six people on talking about the contaminated soil. Uh -huh. And I couldn't get 30 people to stay on there for an hour with me. The <laughs> next night, I'm live. For an hour, for an hour and a half, ninety-five people watched me get attacked by a bat. Attacked. You did. And they attacked. loved that it. That thing was trying to get away from. Oh, they were all dying <laughs> laughing. That thing had a seven-foot wingspan. Oh my goodness. That wasn't the worst one though. That wasn't the worst one when I was in there in bed. Yeah. And that bat yeah, flew from went, head to feet across my bed, and I, I got up cussing, and I mean. And, and you know I'm angry, and then there is no fear; it's all drilling, and I go after it, and it's trying to zigzag through the maze of the house. And I get about 15 feet. I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Now you got to get somewhere, put some clothes on, because you're going outside, and it's middle. You know, it's cold out." And so, yeah, I, I called the ghost hunter, or the bat hunter, over, and he came, and that bat no longer is with us in this house. That's all I'm saying. Poor fellow. We let him go. <laughs> I don't do bats well. 
Bats are good for us. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. Trapper Tim's like, you know, he ever says she's like, I'll come put a bat box up. I'm like, but aren't you inviting bats to your area at that but point in time? In the bat but they box stay, outside. but they stay in their homes then. Unless it gets like crowded, and then <laughs> then they boot one out, and the troubled bat lives upstairs somewhere. Here. <laughs> Hello, Bill. So it was November seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. What was the goat para- porch November time paramore- paranormal? Paranormal. That was so freaky when you showed us that video. I wish you'd have never done that. Was it just that's, Corey, that's myself, you, and Brad? I thought uh-huh. so. Timmy couldn't go. You want to listen to it? Yeah, but, well, the thing is, this it was more than a voice because that light. And that did something. And I zoomed in on the light like this. Laughs. And so then I went like this. And, I, and whatever was going well, on, you go, was going hmm. right here. Yeah. And I was just like, okay. And I right there. Right there. Right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we are literally uh, sitting <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. We didn't I hear have, it. I have headsets yeah, on. And our headsets, if I would go. I mean, it blows your eardrums out. Mm-hmm. They're very good headsets, and literally, we didn't hear anything. And so he played that that night, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I'm listening, done. and I went, "Hello, Janet," and it was two in the morning or whatever, and I was like, "Oh, he blew her phones <laughs> up. Everybody was awake. <laughs> Every boy, there's something on there. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Everybody was awake. Billy. One more time. But see, we had noticed something. Okay, good. That time, did we? Yeah, what was going on right here? And I was just like, okay, and I asked Percy. <laughs> You're right, it's like mocking you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now people hear that are going. What My the, house is haunted. The bad there. thing was, is we had noticed something visually in the kitchen. And her, I was watching on camera, and she thought she'd seen something. I'd seen something on camera. And that's what I'm explaining there. I was watching this and watched the light do the this. Light was doing. And then it, then the voice. <laughs> But besides the ghost downtown, we need everybody to start shopping locally as much as they can. We understand that you're not going to do all your Christmas shopping and all your birthday shopping here in town. But even if it's just a nickel and dime down there somewhere, especially when down there eating, at least stop in these businesses and give them some love because uh, our community needs it. See what they have. Spread the word. Yeah. You know, you don't know unless you don't go unless you go in. Right. And that's the that's the beauty. Some of those stores down there, there's a lot to offer all over the square. Yeah, I can't tell you how many people. Again, this is, don't really mean to go there so much, but walk in the store and say, "I had no idea you had this." Right. Like they have in their head, well, because I make jewelry, that they think I only have jewelry in there, oh. which is not true. But then it's just amazing. The reaction you get when people actually come in, because you have an assumption, and until they come in and look around, I mean, we have stuff for two dollars, thousand, but we have everything in between. Well, support support our business downtown. Um, that's the only way we're like you said. That's the only way we're going to get bigger, because as new businesses come, the first thing they're going to do is look at the growth of the community, and if they see businesses dying. This is the last place they're going to stop. They're not going to want to do, not going to put an investment in this community and then turn around and lose it. They they want to improve and grow and then help us. So, And support Rediscover Martinsville. Yeah, and specifically, if I could have an ask, um, one of Rediscover's projects, they do cookie stroll, they do adopt a post, but the other thing they do is take care of the gardens around the square, clean and weed and mulch and pick up trash. And so we're looking for volunteers for the summer to adopt a plot. Um, You can volunteer as an individual. You can volunteer as a family. And we'll just put you where where best suits you. Some of the plots are bigger. Some are smaller. But right now, we've got a core group of people that do a lot of the work. But they could use some help. So if anybody wants to volunteer, help beautify. Is there a specific day you're going to do that? You can do it on your own time. Okay. So it's like the corner of, you know, each corner's got like a little mm-hmm. triangle plot. That could be your family plot. So just once a week and once every couple of weeks, walk down, make sure it's weeded, no trash in there. Billy's still on here. Um, hey, he should be plot taker, caretaker. Billy should be. 
Yeah. So it's not it's not a huge job. It's just yeah. that makes it easy for those few people if we spread it to right. a lot of people. They've done the bulk of the heavy work. They've already laid the mulch and cleaned out everything. Maintained. Okay. We will pass that information along. And if you have anything else you'd like to share. Can you get a website or something people can go? Or is it just Facebook page? Or... Uh, for Rediscover you. would be the Facebook page is the most active. We have a website that needs to be updated. So yeah, it's just Rediscover Art here. as well. It should. It's it's popped up on the site before. There it is. We want to do like we did a few years ago pre-COVID and get into small businesses in here. Give them, remember that, five yeah. minutes each. Yeah, we we want to that set that year. up better and give him a little time and what's we'll, something we're going to work on as we get closer to black friday and all that that's small the business saturday yes small business saturday so it's work yeah it's all the same weekend yeah right that's something we're going we're going to have to do better on uh and to help promote the downtown so you'll be hearing from us we appreciate <laughs> you coming in Corey or beth you have anything else you want to add hmm. did that pop up so. on your phone where i type or did it light? It, light? it just says rediscover Martinsville. Okay. I clicked on it and went to their page. I just thought maybe it'd bring up a. Sometimes it will. I, I think, think Facebook's messed up. I mean, bring no, up it doesn't. It thing. does <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. even I, sees our stuff. Elion just needs to buy it, like it too anymore. and get it over with. Musk, <laughs> Musk needs to buy it and get it over with. So. <laughs> well, that's it for tonight. Okay. Um, we appreciate Pam coming in. Thank you for yeah. having me. Thank Anytime. You. Get, get a chance. Stop downtown. And, and and one thing that I always say, my sponsors appreciate. Stop in there, and if you see Pam or see, just stop in these businesses. Say hey, uh, it's our community. We all live here. You got to support each other. Pam, I saw you on porch time. Show me what you got. And you may not buy nothing that day, but six weeks down the road, your aunt, your grandma, your daughter, somebody's having a birthday, and say, oh, I know where something like that's at, and you go there and get it. And I want to reiterate that I think people are afraid to come in a store. Especially a small store, because then they feel like they've got to buy something. Obligated. They feel guilty about walking out. And and we, there's nothing worse than sitting in your store all day long and not having a soul come through mm -hmm. your front door. So yeah. whether you buy something or not, it's just nice to have people pop in Foot and traffic. look around, say hi, tell yep. us where you're from. Um, it's, you know, then you see something, then it's somebody's birthday three weeks later and you remember it. Stop so in that's there. That's all get good. It. Yep. Don't feel bad. Stop in there and give her a shout. We, we appreciate you guys. Um, what is tomorrow? Saturday? Friday? Friday. Friday. Gosh, uh, I won't be. I was. You, I'm, I'm getting anything on the schedule. I can't see. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> Saturday, Cedar Creek. I may be on here late tomorrow night to pump up Cedar Creek, but if not, I won't be back on until Sunday. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Get down, get downtown, shop, spend your money locally. We'll see you guys soon.